Hi, I'm Jeff Moore, Dean of the UCF College of Arts and Humanities. Welcome to UCF. This video will help you better understand the disciplines housed in the arts and humanities and how you can engage with us. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about the philosophy of our college. The arts and humanities touch every area of life. We fuel innovation across the university and our community. We help UCF students see the world through different lenses. Our college is where students learn to write and communicate more effectively, explore creativity, and invoke curiosity to better understand how we interact with each other. In our college, we train in single disciplines and encourage that training to be used in interdisciplinary activities. We seek out collaborative ideas and foster diverse voices and perspectives. We have high expectations of our students in the arts and humanities. Every student is unique and arrives at UCF with different life experiences, perspectives, different strengths, and goals. And no two experiences at the university are the same. But we do expect all arts and humanities students to be well-informed, proactive, and to avail themselves of the countless resources and opportunities available to them at the university. We expect students to flourish academically and personally while at UCF, to leave us equipped with the relevant discipline-specific content pertaining to their degrees, and to leave us with the maturity, professionalism, and civic-mindedness that will serve them throughout their professional careers and their lives. Should you choose to join us, we'll hold you to these standards too. Some parents of students pursuing arts and humanities disciplines worry if their students can be gainfully employed. The answer to that question is yes. We're surrounded by people who make the world more beautiful and easier to understand. And people with degrees in the arts and humanities work in every industry. Some of us become professional practicing artists and researchers. And some of us transfer the skills we learn in our disciplines toward other careers. I'm a great example of someone who does a little bit of both. I'm a percussionist as well as an administrator in higher education. Research shows that employers value creativity, critical thinking, strong communication skills, and the ability to work on teams. We're confident that our disciplines prepare students in these areas and others in very meaningful ways, specifically through high impact practices embedded in each and every arts and humanities major our students engage with real-world experiences prior to graduation. National research also shows that students who earn a degree in the arts and humanities end up among the highest earners 20 years into their careers. And can you imagine a world without music, theater, art, books, and culture? Without the creative and academic pursuits that our students undertake, our world would be beyond dull. The arts and humanities are critical aspects of living meaningful lives, and we're thankful for the talents of our brilliant and creative students. My job at UCF is to ensure that the faculty are equipped with what they need so that you will be successful. I assure you we've built a strong and dedicated team to guide you through your educational pursuits. You have my promise that if you invest in your education, we will provide you with the tools, knowledge, and mentorship you need not only to be successful in your career, but in life. Best of luck in your decision making. You've got a bright future ahead of you, and I hope it begins with UCF. Hi, I'm Clarissa Moon, a theater student at the UCF College of Arts and Humanities. I want to tell you a little bit about our college and some of the things you need to know before you apply. UCF has 13 colleges. Mine, the College of Arts and Humanities, has five departments and two schools. The departments are where we find the humanities, English, writing and rhetoric, philosophy, history, and modern languages and literatures. The schools house our arts programs. We have the School of Visual Arts and Design, which includes architecture, photography, studio art, art history, visual arts, and emerging media management and emerging media. That's graphic design, character animation, and experimental animation. We also have the School of Performing Arts. That's my school. It houses music, theater, and dance. 
Additionally, we have some interdisciplinary programs, like minors in Africana Studies and Women's and Gender Studies, and a doctoral program called Texts and Technology. Texts and Technology is an example of a graduate level program, so we aren't going to focus on that, or any of our other graduate level courses here. We'll be talking only about undergraduate offerings. I'm going to break down the departments for you so you have a little better understanding about what is offered in each area. While I'm talking about them, I'll review any special info you need to know while applying. Let's start with the humanities. Our humanities majors are open access. Students admitted to UCF can select these majors and are automatically admitted to the degrees. The Department of English brings together scholars committed to the study of language, literature, and writing. The department houses the majors of creative writing, literature, and technical communication. For those looking for an online degree, UCF's online English degree has been ranked the top choice by bestcolleges.com. The BA in English is our college's largest major. English graduates are prepared for a variety of professional and educational endeavors, including careers in law, editing and publishing, teaching, corporate and not-for-profit management, consulting, information technology, and graduate study in English and other disciplines. Students of English learn to read accurately, write clearly, and think analytically in the department's undergraduate and graduate programs. In addition to the majors, we also offer minors in creative writing, digital humanities, Florida studies, linguistics, literature, medieval and Renaissance studies, and technical communication. These minors, like all of the minors we offer, are available to any UCF student. The English department has several journals, including the Cypress Dome, UCF's undergraduate literary publication. It is edited and run by undergraduates and is open to submissions from any UCF student. There are also several student organizations to join, like the Future Technical Communicator Student Organization and Sigma Tau Delta, the National English Honor Society. Everyday life in the 21st century involves composing and understanding complex messages in multiple media and in varied contexts. Students in the Department of Writing and Rhetoric receive a comprehensive education that enables them to communicate effectively, persuasively, and ethically across a range of civic, professional, and educational contexts. Nearly every industry and company employs writing specialists under many different titles. There are three options for undergraduate study. The Writing and Rhetoric BA, a minor in Writing and Rhetoric, and a certificate in Public and Professional Writing. A certificate is a professionally focused plan of study that usually requires fewer credit hours than a minor. For instance, this certificate requires 12 hours of study and the minor requires 18 hours. They also have different course requirements. You'll always want to refer to the UCF catalog for the year you start your degree for details about what your academic programs require. Even if you don't select this department for your academic degree program, Nearly every UCF student will take some classes with writing and rhetoric because they host the first year writing program. So when you're taking ENC 1101 and ENC 1102, you are with this department. The department is also home to the University Writing Center, a place every UCF student should visit in order to get input, help, and guidance on anything they write, from research papers to resumes. Writing and Rhetoric offers several publication opportunities for students. Imprint is a student-run magazine, and Stylus is the Journal of First Year Writing. A lot of people ask, what is the difference between a Writing and Rhetoric degree and the Technical Communication degree in English? The Writing and Rhetoric degree prepares students to use writing broadly to solve problems and create change across civic, professional, and disciplinary contexts. Writing and Rhetoric alums are often hired for their ability to adapt messaging to varied audiences in positions such as social media managers, multimedia designers, content developers, copy editors, and writers for nonprofits and NGOs. A technical communication degree hones students' abilities to communicate effectively in scientific and technological contexts. Alumni of this program often get hired for their ability to communicate specialized information to audiences with varying levels of expertise in positions as technical writers, technical editors, business application analysts, and documentation specialists. 
There are also differences in the graduation requirements, so you will want to visit these programs and the undergraduate catalog to learn more. The Department of Philosophy is home to UCF's award-winning Ethics Bolt team. But there's also a lot more. Philosophy students pursue knowledge in diverse disciplines. The programs emphasize the theoretical skills and knowledge to engage with complex issues of our time and provide a foundation for the pursuit of professional and academic goals in many fields, including teaching, law, publishing, nonprofit management, and technology. The degree offerings include majors in Humanities and Cultural Studies, Philosophy, and Religion and Cultural Studies. Minors are offered in Cognitive Sciences, Humanities and Cultural Studies, Philosophy, and Religion and Cultural Studies, as well as a certificate program in Interfaith Dialogue. In addition to the Ethics Bowl team I mentioned earlier, students can get involved in organizations like the Philosophical Society, the Religious Studies Club, and the Killjoy Society, which is a philosophy group for women. Some of UCF's research strength in the Department of History lies in public history, veterans, Africana studies, and Judaic studies. A history degree is only limited by your imagination. In addition to learning valuable research and writing skills, history students gain analytical skills, use communication skills, and become goal-focused. As a history major, you have a door open to many exciting and fulfilling career opportunities, including law, diplomacy, politics, international affairs, libraries and museum administration, historical associations, and even journalism and news reporting. Do you know what the most popular undergraduate degree for US presidents has been? That's right, history. The history department offers one undergraduate degree, a BA in History. Some students might also be interested in pursuing the MA Accelerated Undergraduate Graduate Program, which allows qualified undergraduate majors to take graduate level courses that count towards a master's degree while completing their baccalaureate degree program. Participation will enable completion of an undergraduate and graduate degree in five years instead of six. In addition to the history major, UCF offers minors in Africana Studies, Florida Studies, History, Judaic Studies, Middle Eastern Studies, Pre-Law, and Russian Studies. These minors are designed to complement a wide range of majors. There are many ways for history students to get involved. The department offers many opportunities to gain hands-on experience putting history skills to work in the community. Public history internships provide students with a chance to gain real-world, professional experience on the job while earning course credit. Phi Alpha Theta is an active student organization that combines both the Honor Society and History Club. There are opportunities to work with veterans, the Zora Festival, school kids, and create podcasts. Like I said earlier, the possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Languages are, quite simply, a part of a complete education. Whether you wish to fulfill a language requirement, gain valuable language skills, or position yourself in a more marketable career, the Department of Modern Languages and Literatures is an important consideration. The career opportunities are plentiful in today's global society. There isn't a single career resume, from hospitality to engineering to arts to healthcare, that isn't benefited by the addition of a second or third language. UCF offers studies in Arabic, Chinese, French, German, Haitian Creole, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, and of course, Spanish. We also have TESOL and TEFL. Undergraduate students can major in Spanish or French. Minors are also available in Spanish, French, and Italian. The other languages are available as certificates or courses. Additionally, the department offers a degree in Latin American studies, which can be completed entirely online. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that studying abroad can be a great way to broaden your horizons and increase professional and social opportunities. Immerse yourself in a foreign culture, study the language, and gain skills to become more successful in a globalized community. Study abroad is not just for foreign language majors. 
UCF has programs to meet the general education and language requirements of all students, as well as programs designed for majors in every college. The department regularly offers trips to Russia, Germany, Cuba, Italy, Brazil, Paris, Portugal, and more. For additional information about study abroad and programs offered by other departments, visit the UCF Abroad website. Women's and Gender Studies doesn't offer a major, but the interdisciplinary program offers both a minor and a certificate. Let's start by saying that Women's and Gender Studies is for everyone. The undergraduate minor is designed as a complement to many majors, especially the humanities and social sciences. The program provides excellent preparation for those who plan to enter the professional world, especially fields like education, healthcare, criminology, law, business, and economic studies. Each semester, Women's and Gender Studies students turn knowledge into action by completing service learning projects with community partners. Students complete 15 hours of community service and deliver a final project based on that partnership, presenting their work to their peers. Students can opt for a wide variety of projects, like work on awareness and fundraising campaigns, tutoring, administrative work, or activism projects. This type of high impact, hands-on activity can be found throughout the College of Arts and Humanities and is especially strong in women's and gender studies. Now let's talk about the arts. Remember I said earlier, we have two schools, performing arts and visual arts and design. The School of Performing Arts is for students seeking a career in the arts and entertainment field, including performance, design, teaching, technician, creator, and more. There are endless opportunities to be involved in performing, creating, or experiencing art in music ensembles and theater productions. Music has several degree programs and tracks. For a performance career, the Bachelor of Music degree has two tracks, jazz performance and music performance. That is for piano, voice, guitar, strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. Performance students join studios taught by faculty members who have had accomplished careers as professional performers and give students the tools and preparation they need to succeed. Aspiring composers can apply to the composition track and learn to make music for live performance, video games, movies, and more in UCF Center for Multimedia Composition with industry standard equipment. Future music teachers can earn their Bachelor of Music Education and work toward their K-12 certification while gaining real-world experience in internships and field placements. If you're looking for a flexible program to pursue a career such as arts administration, musicology, music history, and more, the Bachelor of Arts and Music may be a great fit for you. For those who want to major in another field but keep music in their lives, we have a music minor. All music degree programs require an audition or interview. We recommend applying to both UCF and the School of Performing Arts as soon as possible. UCF's music ensembles are open to anyone on campus and include bands, orchestra, choir, opera, and jazz. All ensemble participation counts as course credit and some ensembles require an audition. Others, you simply need to register for the course. There is a lot of important information about music degree programs, auditions, and ensembles at music.ucf.edu. For those planning on a career in theater, UCF has incredible programs that have produced alumni that are working on Broadway, regional theater, TV, film, and more. There are four specialized Bachelor of Fine Arts tracks in theater that take a conservatory-style approach to perfecting their craft. The acting track prepares students for a career in theater, film, and television with a focus on acting, voice, and movement in the classroom and on stage. The musical theater track mixes intensive classroom work with practical production opportunities and an industry-like experience so students are ready to perform professionally. The design and technology track is for students who work behind the scenes in costuming, lighting, audio, and more to bring theater to life. The stage management track provides many opportunities for hands-on learning, from stage managing Theater UCF productions to working with local organizations like Orlando Shakes and Orlando Rep. 
All BFA programs require paid internships before graduation. Our faculty's job is to make sure you know how to get and keep a job in this industry. If you're looking for a theater career that takes place away from the stage, the Bachelor of Arts in Theater offers flexibility to pursue theater alongside a secondary area of study. This is a great degree for people who want to become arts administrators, theater historians, arts writers, and educators. We also offer a theater minor and a dance minor. We have students from nearly every college at UCF who take our dance minor. Like music, to become a theater major, you must be accepted by UCF and audition or interview with the School of Performing Arts. We recommend applying to both as soon as possible. Theater UCF also provides many performance and production opportunities. The school produces a full season of plays and musicals each semester, and during the summer produces a new play festival. Auditions for Theater UCF productions are open to all students on campus. There are also several student-run theater and improv groups open to all students on campus, including Project Spotlight. For anyone who wants to see a concert or show, the schedule can be found at arts.ucf.edu. We have performances year-round, and you won't want to miss UCF Celebrates the Arts each April when the arts at UCF occupy the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts downtown for two weeks. It's always a massive event. The visual arts are housed in the School of Visual Arts and Design, or SVAD as we call it for short. Here you'll learn the techniques, skills, and studio practices for a career in the visual arts. In the studio arts, students may select from the following areas, ceramics, sculpture, drawing, painting, printmaking, book arts, illustration, photography, and other options. The BFA degree will enable you to specialize in one of those areas, as well as develop installation practices and kickstart your career as a fine artist by planning a group exhibition in your last semester. Both the Studio Art BFA and Art BA Studio Track require successful completion of the Studio Art Portfolio. The Emerging Media BFA degree offers three tracks in graphic design, experimental animation, and character animation. The graphic design track educates students in the art and science of visual communication, stressing the professional aspects of design. You'll combine technology with aesthetics in the production of typographic and publication design, identity systems, packaging, film and broadcast graphics, posters and interactive web design. You might wonder what the difference is between experimental and character animation. Character animation focuses mostly on 3D animation. In character animation, we have cohorts of 30 students that create two short films over a two-year period. The courses mimic working in a professional animation studio and pipeline with assigned roles such as character modeler, lighting artist, and animator. In experimental animation, you'll focus on an individualized approach to develop your own independent art style, utilizing techniques such as 2D and 3D animation, stop motion, concept art, and more. You'll experiment with hybrid traditional and digital art techniques to create your body of artwork and industry-focused portfolio. All three tracks offered in the Emerging Media BFA and the Studio Art BFA require a successful portfolio in order to be accepted. No matter which area you focus on, you will learn the skills necessary to be successful in a career as a graphic designer or animator. SVAD also offers a Bachelor of Design in Architecture. This program is offered in partnership with Valencia College and the University of Florida. Students complete the Associate in Arts degree at Valencia, the Bachelor of Design degree through UCF, and can pursue a Master's degree at UF at City Lab in downtown Orlando. It's convenient, affordable, and flexible. Just to keep in mind that the classes for this UCF degree are taught at the Valencia West campus. Earlier, I mentioned that you can specialize in photography if you want to pursue a Studio Art BFA degree. Well, you can also get a Bachelor of Science degree in photography through our partnership with Daytona State College. The photography program offered at Daytona State provides a balanced photographic education by incorporating strong technical, creative, and critical skills needed for success in a variety of professional photographic fields. If you are interested in photography, you are going to want to look up more details on the UCF website 
or talk with your advisor about your choices. In addition to studio art, the Art BA degree has two additional tracks, Art History and Visual Arts and Emerging Media Management. The Visual Arts and Emerging Media Management is an interdisciplinary track that allows students with interests outside of studio disciplines to study art and a variety of art-related topics. The Art History track provides a foundation for the understanding of art and encourages the development of visual literacy. Students who pursue this track will be prepared for a career such as an appraiser, archivist, arts administrator, art critic, creative director, curator, exhibition designer, or educator. A lot of people want to know how they can attend arts events on campus. The college keeps a full schedule of arts events and information on how to attend at arts.ucf.edu. There is a free art gallery in the Visual Arts Building on campus. Theater UCF holds performances year-round at the Theater Building, centrally located near the Student Union on campus. Student tickets are just $10. UCF music concerts are held in many places on campus and at venues throughout the Central Florida community. Tickets are required for some events. UCF Celebrates the Arts, a two-week festival, is held each April downtown at Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts and is an opportunity for UCF artists to showcase their talents on world-class stages and for the public to enjoy a wide variety of art forms. So now you know a little bit about each area in the college. It's time to choose your major. Remember, the college is here to help you if you have questions. Once you've decided your area of study, you will be assigned a College of Arts and Humanities Student Advising, CASA, advisor. Students are also directed to a faculty member or major advisor in the department or school of their major. The CASA advisor will work with you from orientation through graduation, and your major advisor will provide discipline and major-specific expertise. Every student is expected to connect with their advisor at least once each semester for guidance on timely and efficient completion of degree requirements. They want you to be successful, so consult them early and often. I hope you've enjoyed our journey today. There is still a lot more to learn about the UCF College of Arts and Humanities. I'd encourage you to visit our website and engage with the college and departments on social media. Ask questions, get involved, and get ready to be a knight. You're going to love it here.